What's going on, guys? Brett here with The BS Show. We got another big fight announcement that's going on in the year 2020, which Dana White has said he expects to be huge. 2019 was the biggest year that the UFC had, and now he expects to top that, mainly because Conor McGregor has promised to fight three times. There's a lot of other big fights going on. But this fight that is just announced yesterday, Kevin Lee versus Charles Oliveira on Saturday, March 14th, that is also a huge fight. So for all you people out there that are UFC fans or just love fighting in general, this fight is going to be fireworks. We rarely, rarely see a fight in the UFC that we expect to be fireworks actually pan out to be fireworks. But this fight I can definitely see happening. You know, you have Kevin, the Motown phenom, who came into the UFC and really had a chip on his shoulder. He wanted to be the best, which every UFC fighter does, but a lot of people thought Kevin Lee might be the next thing, might be a championship caliber fighter. And he had a really big fight coming into uh, his last five fights against Tony Ferguson. That was for the interim belt, and he lost that via triangle. He then went to beat Edson Barboza, who was one of the best kickboxers in the world, uh, he then lost to Raging Al by decision. He then lost to Rafael Dos Anjos via arm triangle. And then his most recent victory is against Gregor Gillespie, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. He had a TKO win. I mean, just knocked his head off. I still think they're looking at it everywhere for his head. I mean, his head is gone. But that was his best win to date, in my opinion, in great fashion. And I think a lot of that goes to he switched training camps and went and fought up at TriStar with Faraz Sahabi, and his striking just looked great. I mean, it looked amazing. So he's batting about two and three over his last five. But, I mean, Tony Ferguson, Edson Barboza, Raising Al, RDA, and Gregor Gillespie, those are five of the toughest dudes in the division. And I believe two of the three, for sure, RDA and Tony Ferguson were previous champions. So he got thrown to the wolves because the UFC did see a lot of talent in him, and he's still got a long way to go. He's growing with his body. He's learning what he's what he does well. And he's working on his striking. He was known as a little bit of a wrestler coming in with maybe some suspect striking. Um, I didn't think so. I thought his striking obviously needed a little work, but I thought it looked great. I mean, he had really good uh, spots in the Tony Ferguson fight where I thought he could have uh, won. And to beat a guy like Edson Barboza, who just has highlight reel knockout after highlight reel knockout in the UFC, that's saying something. Um, so he doesn't really have a bad loss. I mean, up to date. So... But his opponent now is a completely different animal in Charles Oliveira. He's uh, 5-0 and in his last five fights. He's got mixes between KOs, TKOs, submissions, and, I mean, he's been around for a long, long time. I went to my nifty friend Wikipedia and got a few stats for you guys. So he's second most finishes in UFC history with 15. He is tied with the second most fight win bonuses at 15. He has the most subs in featherweight history with 13. And he has the most subs in UFC history with 13. I mean, this guy is just an animal. He's, in my opinion, still underrated. I mean, this guy's been around. He's fought everybody you can think of, and he's just a tough out. This guy is just tougher than nails. He brings it, and his jiu-jitsu is amazing. So this is not an easy fight for, um, I'm sorry, for Kevin Lee in any way, shape, or form. So Kevin Lee has a very tough task at hand. But I feel like Charles Oliveira is kind of a gatekeeper to some extent. I mean, if you beat him, that's a very good win on your resume. And that kind of that kind of pushes you up into title contention because everybody knows how tough Charles Oliveira is. But what I'm most excited about this fight is both of these guys bring it. I mean, these guys say what they mean, they mean what they say, and they put on a show for the fight fans. So I know it's going to be fireworks. So... I don't even want to pick this fight because I could see it going one of a million ways. I mean, Kevin Lee, I think with striking and having a couple months, I believe he's been up at TriStar for about half a year now. And Faraz Sahabi is one of the best coaches in MMA. So I know he's working with him and he's making him better every single day. But you got an animal and a veteran in Charles Oliveira who you can never take lightly, who is just a beast. I mean, it's plain and simple. He is a beast. So we will see, guys. Let me know in the comments below who you got in this fight. Let me know if you guys are excited for the year 2020 in the UFC because Dana White predicts a massive year. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll talk to you later.